all kindly rise and join in the entrance hymn celebrate god celebrate god with your hands celebrate god with your voice celebrate god in all that you do and he will be with you listen to him with your eyes listen to him with your heart listen to him as he speaks with you and he will be with you mass intentions thanksgiving masses offered by anthony nazareth and tina fernando family julian richard on his birthday roni mathias and the kanampura family for the intentions of baby jona and mary artemisia lobo for good health mark and witty fernandez for good health months my mass of maria aurora kuto for the souls of valentine de mello elizabeth de souza solomon george joe dias bartholomew martin severina lobo Martha and Aloysius Swers, Gregory Fernandez, fathers Peter De Souza, Ozzy De Souza, and Dan Ferrando, Miss Maria Nunes, Diego De Mello, baby Chris De Souza, Lancelot De Souza, Lino Pimenta, and Mary De Souza. for the departed members of cordero and marias families in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear sisters and dear brothers as we have come to partake in this eucharist today let us thank god for this is the greatest sign of his presence amidst us for the times we failed to believe in his presence in and around us let us ask his pardon you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers Saints Cyril and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. the first reading the testing of your faith produces steadfastness that you may be perfect and complete a reading from the letter of saint james james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the 12 tribes of the dispersion greetings count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god 
who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him but let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind for that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the lord he is a double minded man unstable in all his ways let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation and the rich in his humiliation because like a flower of the grass he will pass away for the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the grass its flower falls and its beauty perishes so also will the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits the word of the lord thanks be to god our response show me compassion that i may live show me compassion that i may live before i was humbled i strayed but now i keep your word show me compassion that i may live you are good and you do what is good teach me your statutes show me compassion that i may live it was good for me to be humbled that i might learn your statutes show me compassion that i may live the law from your mouth means more to me than large quantities of silver and gold show me compassion that i may live o lord i know that your decrees are right though i am humbled you are just show me compassion that i may live let your merciful love console me by your promise to your servant show me compassion that i may live all kindly rise and let us prepare hearts to hear the gospel alleluia 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 i am the way and the truth and the life says the lord no one comes to the father except through me alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord at that time the pharisees came and began to argue with jesus seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him and he sighed deeply in his spirit and said why does this generation seek a sign truly i say to you no sign will be given to this generation and he left them got into the boat again and went to the other side the gospel of the lord praise to you o lord jesus christ my dear sisters and dear brothers in jesus christ bedouins are nomadic people of the middle eastern deserts once someone asked a bedouin how do you know that there is god the bedouin replied just as i know that an animal has crossed the desert when i see its footprints on the sand for the bedouin the bright stars in the middle of the night and the palm trees of an oasis are signs 
of God's presence. It is rather puzzling to see and to read today that the Pharisees are asking for a sign. It's not that Jesus has not given them any signs. It is that they chose to blind themselves to the signs that Jesus had given. It is like showing, if Jesus were to show further signs, like showing a blind man more pictures. Faith, dear sisters and brothers, requires an openness, a willingness to see our extraordinary God present in ordinary events of life. It requires an openness, a willingness. That's the reason why Thomas Aquinas, the Dominican saint, said, to the one who has faith, no explanation needed. To the one without faith, no explanation possible. Let's look into our own lives. The very fact that we have got up this morning and are present here, participating in this Eucharist, is itself a big miracle. What else do we require? And the way the Lord has led us through all the tough times of life is again an indication that He is very much present. And yet, we too sometimes can be blind to see God present amidst us. This morning, as we partake in this Eucharist, let us pray. Lord, open my eyes to see you present within me and around me. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings which we bring before Your Majesty in commemoration of Saints Cyril and Methodius and grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity Reconciled to you in loving charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, his death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints we praise You, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Cyril and Methodius and the other Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we ask the Lord for the gift of the continuous faith, that steadfastness to see Him present in everything and in everyone, let us pray in the words as He Himself has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, Father of all nations, who make us sharers in the one bread and the one spirit and heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this feast day of saints Cyril and Methodius that the multitude of your children persevering in the same faith may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual hell, with the greatest confidence, we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of your mother at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the past of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with the coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual health, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. All kindly join in the recessional hymn, Jesus is the Joy. Jesus is the joy of living, he's the king of life to me, unto him I all I'm giving, he's forevermore to be, I will do what he commands me, anywhere he leads I'll go, Jesus is the joy of living, He's the dearest friend I know. 